This technique, uh, test and technique are no good unless you have the shoulder depressed, the scapula depressed. Otherwise, the scapula is just going to rotate on you and you're not going to get a good stretch. So I'm going to come under here with my left hand and compress and depress the uh, shoulder. And then I can come in like this with my hands so that I can extend Dina's wrist. Notice how I have her elbow against my body and I'm extending her wrist and I'm ulnar deviating. Ulnar deviation, that. Ulnar deviating her wrist so that I can bring it up. And so she's going to tell me if there's any pain, any symptoms. Just a symptom, no pain. You, okay, what kind of symptom? A little bit of tingling. She's got a little bit of tingling going down where? The, that's right, she's following the ulnar nerve dermatome and so we don't want to bulldoze that nerve barrier we just want to barely mobilize it so taking it to here now I'm going to ask her to gently side bend her head to the right and see if that increases symptoms yes okay come on back we don't want to increase symptoms do we so what we're going to do is a nerve gliding nerve mobilization nerve gliding nerve flossing whatever so uh, as, as uh, I bring Dina's hand toward her head, she's going to stay in neutral. And now as she side bends her head to the right, I'm going to come off. Now she's pulling the nerve toward her, toward the head, through the costoclavicular canal and toward her. Now when she comes back to neutral, I am going to put some more stretch. I'm pulling it back toward me. Do you see that? She's going toward her. And when she comes back, I'm pulling it back toward me. Can you visualize that? Depress that shoulder and come on in. And you just keep, for the first couple of sessions, this is what you do. And then, of course, you give them the home retraining exercises that we'll show you in a minute. Mobilize, mobilize, mobilize. And then, eventually in the sessions, you're going to be doing the same thing. She's going to be right side bending while I'm coming in. So go ahead, right side bending, and that puts a lot more stretch on the nerve. You don't want to overstretch a nerve that may be already tractioning too hard, may have already been injured and is overstretched. But sometimes this really helps to, uh, to pull it loose from its entrapment site. Ulnar nerve, one of the most important um, Nerves in the upper quadrant and also a big faker for golfer's elbow.